Okay, so I found myself in bed with somebody who's been causing a little bit of mayhem around here. It's none other than the ever gorgeous, the beautiful blonde bombshell, Monica Mayhem. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Well, I'm much better now. I'm cozied up in bed next to oh, you. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I've seen you in other shows and um, I've been fortunate enough to catch up with you this time. How does um, today compare? We're first day, kind of just cruising. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still a bit jet lagged, so I'm just getting into the routine that mm -hmm. it's good that it's kind of quiet today. Thursdays are always quiet at every convention, so. So we need to make sure that we, you know, keep our heels on on a Thursday and. Yes, yes. Come oh, Friday, sorry. Saturday, Sunday, we're like kicking the heels off and laying on the bed, yeah? That's right, that's right. We'll be laying all over the bed together, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, oh well, that sounds like an offer that I'm definitely gonna have to take you up on. Now, you do some very interesting things. And now, I want to say one of them. Earlier today in our press release, I heard that you were running for the sex party candidate seat. Is that right? That's, well, actually, you know, it's a pre selection. So it's up to the Eros committee to approve me to run, basically. So, so how do you think they're going to go having a hot, sexy, blonde bombshell who's a porn star running in their um, campaign? Well, don't you think it makes sense that, you know, I come from an economics background, first of all, so I am, you know, somewhat intelligent, I like to think. <laughs> a blonde with brains. Now, that's hard to come by sometimes. Yeah, and I work in the sex industry. It's the sex party. You know, who better to represent than a porn star? Well, I totally agree with you. I think you'd be the perfect candidate. And you're good looking too. I mean, have a think about all the people that are actually in, in the politics. Senate and in politics. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, no, just not interested. I mean, if you weren't actually intelligent enough to go for it, at least you'd be appealing on the eye. So that's the main thing. Exactly, yeah. If anything, you know, at least it'd be something nice to look at in government. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you could get your boobs out and your beautiful blonde hair out and they'd just go, yeah, okay, no worries, Miss Mayhem. Yeah, yeah, they'll just be staring at my chest the whole time probably anyway so so speaking of staring at your chest I have heard that you have got a new book out I do actually I released it in uh, October it's called absolute mayhem confessions of an Aussie porn star and it's about my whole life all the way uh, from childhood through financial markets through my porn career up until today and uh, it's very explicit and it's very honest and in your face. I love that because I don't think that a lot of people get an insight into your background um, and also what you've been doing because you do a lot of things other than just being in porn. I mean, yeah. obviously you're running for the sex party seat. You do book writing. You're doing is music. there singing music? That's right. Reality show. Right. So you're like you're like a jack of all trades. Yeah, I'm an actress as well. So I also. Of go course you are. You're in porn. Well, not just a porn <laughs> actress, but yeah, I do regular makeup. Mainstream acting as well, yeah, well, and great. modeling obviously, and um, I'm designing lingerie right now too. So, oh my god, you're doing everything. Yeah, if I don't stay busy, I go crazy. So. Sure. So now you're here and um, you said you're jet lagged, but you're heading off to another city and you're here for a couple of weeks. And then afterwards, I heard that you're heading back to the States. What are you doing? As soon as I get back, I have to fly to Connecticut to feature dance for two nights. I have four shows that I'm doing there. Um, and then I fly back and I have uh, a big movie for Penthouse where I'm a rock star and all that and singing on stage. Awesome. Then um, I have at least four movies booked, four movies scheduled before I go on tour with the band on the reality show for five weeks. Wow, you're a busy girl. Yeah, now, I'm trying to write music in between and it's, it's hard. Too busy, too busy. Yeah. Now, I know that some of your porn films are a bit crazy. <laughs> Tell me some of the craziest things that have happened to you when you've been on set or like on like bizarre things or something unusual that people out there who don't know you and who haven't read your book may be able to get a bit of an insight to. Well, I'd say, okay, two of the craziest things I've done, one peed in a guy's mouth. Oh my god, now that's a new version of a golden shower. <laughs> yeah, totally. The second one, uh, kicking guys in the nuts. Ouch, I actually saw somebody doing that earlier and I didn't think how that I could be pleasurable. It. There's some guys that they get off on that kind of pain from beautiful women kicking them in the nuts. I don't know, it's a, it's a Japanese fetish actually called Tamakari. 
Wow, so they actually have a name for that. It's not yeah. just like some weird, bizarre thing. Yeah, in the States they call it ball busting, but it's called tamakari <laughs> in Japanese. I think they call it ball busting here in Australia too. I know that there'd be plenty of wives out there that would want to take on that sport for sure. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> so we're still at the start of the show, so do you think maybe we can wrap up with you um, maybe on Sunday and have a little bit of a chat then? Definitely, I'd love to. Well, enjoy the rest of your time here. This is Monica Mayhem and Sammy Lee, and we're assigning out because we're going to bed.